the fundamental physics of our atmosphere. And you know what? It all starts with the sun. That's the engine driving this whole show. Okay, so think about it like this. The equator gets blasted with direct, intense sunlight. All that heat warms up the air, which makes it rise, creating a zone of low pressure. Meanwhile, at the poles, the air is cold, heavy, and dense, so it sinks, and that creates high pressure. Now here is the one golden rule of weather you need to remember. Wind always moves from high pressure to low pressure. That one simple fact is what sets up our entire global wind system. So all this wind flowing around the globe has to meet up somewhere, right? Well, let me introduce you to the main character in our story today, a powerful planet-circling weather belt we call the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or for short, the ITCZ. So the ITCZ is this band of low pressure that wraps around the Earth near the equator. And it's the ultimate destination for winds blowing in from both the northern and the southern hemispheres. I mean, you can basically picture it as this atmospheric collision zone where two enormous air currents just slam into each other. And what happens when all that warm, humid air converges? Well, it has nowhere else to go but up. And as it rises, it cools down and condenses, forming this massive churning hub of clouds. This thing is a planet-sized rain engine, and it's constantly sucking in more wind from all sides to fuel the storms. It's just relentless. Now, here is where things get really interesting. See, that ITZZ, that rainmaker, it doesn't just sit still. Because it's always chasing the warmest spot on Earth, it actually moves north and south throughout the year, all thanks to our planet's tilt. And this seasonal wobble? That is the trigger. That's what kicks off the Indian monsoon. Here's how it all goes down. Around June, the sun is shining directly over the northern hemisphere. The huge landmass of India and the Tibetan plateau heats up like a giant skillet on a stove. This creates this incredibly intense zone of low pressure that acts like a magnet, pulling that entire ITCZ rain machine northwards, right over the subcontinent. And when it settles in, it creates what's known as the monsoon trough, setting the stage for months and months of rain. So now we've got this super strong low pressure zone sitting over India, acting like a giant atmospheric vacuum cleaner. Its pull is so powerful, it literally reaches across the equator and starts sucking in air from the southern hemisphere. But as those winds get pulled into our half of the world, something really strange happens. So just picture it. You've got these southeast trade winds. They've been blowing steadily in the same direction for their entire existence. And now they're getting yanked across the equator, pulled towards that low pressure over India. They're on a straight path heading north. And then, whoosh, they take a hard right turn, completely changing direction to become the southwest monsoon winds we know. But why? What's going on? They were moving in a straight line, so what force is strong enough to just shove them sideways like that? While the culprit is the spin of the Earth itself. It's this invisible force called the Coriolis effect. As our planet rotates on its axis, it gives any freely moving objects like wind or water a little sideways nudge. And in the northern hemisphere, that nudge is always to the right. So the second those southern winds cross the equator, they get deflected right. And that turn transforms them into the moisture-packed southwest winds that slam into India. It's incredible. Of course, what shifts north must eventually shift south. The monsoon isn't a one-way street. It's this beautiful, elegant cycle that completely reverses itself every single winter. You can really see the perfect symmetry of the whole system right here. In the summer, that ITCZ moves north over India, pulling in those wet southwest winds from the ocean to the land, bringing all the rain. But come winter, the suns move south, and the ITCZ follows it. The whole engine goes into reverse. High pressure builds over the now cold Asian landmass, and cool, dry northeast winds blow from the land out to the sea. It's this perfect, predictable, annual rhythm. So from something as simple as the sun heating the ground to the mind-bending physics of a spinning planet, we've seen how this incredible system works. It is truly a delicate dance on a planetary scale, and it is the absolute lifeblood for billions of people.